Welcome to an all new episode of Play Dead. We're back, bitch. You goddamn right. Do you think I was going to stay away forever? No. No, there's no way I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. I'm going to be an old, old man. Look how old I look right now. By the time we get to the last song, right? You know, been going through a little bit of a tough time recently. Y'all know I took a little bit of time off to do some stuff. We'll talk about that another time. You should watch our podcast. That's where we go over this stuff. You know what? This episode is brought to you by me, baby, and the Golden Road Guitar Course. That's right. If you want to learn how I look at the fretboard and how a lot of other people in this community look at the fretboard now, boom, this is the way to do it. And May through July 2023, right, unless you're watching this in the future, right, it's for $100. It's on the summer sale, okay? So you can snatch it up for 100 bucks. Uh, also, go check out our merch, right? You can get some heady St. Owsley merch, some heady fucking channel merch over on realbird.company.site. Okay, but get into it. It's been a minute, so you just guys, you guys want the fucking lesson, right? You want it. You want to have it. Give it to you, I hear you say. Davey says, okay. We're learning here comes sunshine today. People have been asking for this one for a while, and I just thought, you know, yeah, why not? It's a pretty simple tune. Um, there is a backing track for it. I'm the only backing track, I think, that's done a here comes sunshine. It's pretty dope. I like, I, you know, I was a little leery about doing it at first, um, but whatever. I've come to really like it now that I've done it. So uh, the song was written in about 72, 73. It came out on Wake of the Flood. And the first line of this song is where the album gets its name. And it is like Wake of the Flood is one of those perfect, it's one of those perfect albums. I can listen to that album all the way through almost any day. I would. You know, if there was one album, like if there were like any album, just one can exist, probably that one. Probably that one over all albums ever. Maybe. I mean, just look at all the bangers on it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so the song, 72, 73, written, you know, for this Wake of the Flood album. The first line of it is Wake of the Flood. But what's interesting about that is that, like, so, of course, Robert Hunter, Jerry Garcia, you know this. Uh, duh. I'm sorry. It's been a minute. I'm trying to figure out my flow again. Okay? So, get ready for that. Anyway, so... Robert Hunter, Jerry Garcia. Robert Hunter actually, uh, in his book, Box of Rain, he talked about the, uh, the flood. I believe it was of Vanguard, Washington. But uh, Vanguard, Washington is not true. It was actually Vanguard, Oregon, right, if I'm not mistaken. And the flood, it was a great flood, right? But it, it wiped that town, wiped that city off the map. Left nothing there but fire. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that happened actually in... Oregon, and it was in 1948. So Robert Hunter was wrong, but hey, what a great line. Wake of the flood, laugh in water, 49. 49. 49. 49. So good. What does it mean? Obviously nothing now that we know that most of that is, you know, half of that's not true. But... Still interesting nonetheless. So, this is what it looks like. This is how it's going to break down. You just got an intro, a verse, and a chorus, and then it all just repeats. Okay? So, it's going to be super duper easy peasy. Let's get the blood rolling again. 
And let's get into the motherfucking intro. Ah. All right, what's happening, babies? So your intro, it's in C. So like it, it starts on a C. So the the bob line, the bob line is interesting. Okay, so this is what the bob line looks like, right? It's strange. He's doing his own little lead thing while Jerry's doing his lead thing. And here's what Jerry's lead thing looks like. Okay, now listen, and we will. Okay, see, not too bad. So we're gonna start with the bob one because it's a little weird. It does this little half step bend here. And it's like this islandy palm muted thing, right? So it's interesting. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ring finger, you're gonna put it on the eighth fret of the G string. You're gonna do a half step bend up. And then you're gonna pull off to that fifth fret of the G. Then you're gonna go to that seventh fret of the D. And then you're gonna hit it again. Right, and then you're gonna work your way down seven five on the D string, and then you're gonna go to the A string seven five three to that root of the C. So that's all that is. You do that four times, okay? Now for the Jerry one, and what you're gonna do is like so you're gonna come up to this C shaped, the C shaped C chord inversion. Because again, remember, everything just starts back over at the 12th fret. So what you're basically going to do is you're going to make a D shape because your C shape and your D shape are the same, right? So if you were to do a C shape D and you just take these two fingers off. No, not those two. These two. You take these two fingers off. You've just got that D shape, right? So you're going to do that same thing up here with this C. But you're going to do it like this. Right? So you've got your pointer finger on the 12th fret of the G string. You've got your ring finger on the B string on the 13th fret, and then you've got your middle finger on the E string on the 12th fret, right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on that 12 on the E string and come down to that 13 on the B. So, right? And then you're gonna do this thing. You're gonna take your pinky, and then you're gonna go up to the 15th fret on the B string, so. Yeah, you're already starting to hear it, right? Right? But then for that second one, we're going to do a little pickup on that 12th fret of the G string. Right? So. Right? On that third one, you go. You're going from 12 to 13 on that high E. Right? And then so let's give it a shot. And that's your intro. You do that four times, right? And then you break, do a nice little drop, fat fill bomb into that C for the verse. And we're going to drop a fat fill bomb right now for the verse. Okay, I, again, like, it's been, it's been a minute. We're trying to, trying to get it back, baby. We're trying to bring it back in, okay? You got to bring in the funny. You got to be the funny. Be the funny you want to see in the tussy. I don't know, in the tummy, in the bussy, in the, in the cussy, in the thrussy, in the, in the bussy. I don't know, man. I don't. I'm trying. I love you. Let's do the verse. All righty. Boom. Verse. That's what it'd be looking like. Okay. So it's a little, there's some, there's some chords, but it, it flows really well. And like the, there's not a whole lot of lyrics to go along with this. So listen, Ugh, you don't listen. I'll wait until you listen. I'll sit here and wait. In your own time while I double hand sip my coffee. <coughs> I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. 
See, that wasn't bad. So <clears throat> we're going to start on a C, right? You come on in. Uh, wake of the flood, laugh in the water. B flat. 49. D minor. To C. To G. C. So there's that little kind of like you do it like a little bit of a jump back to that C. So, uh, wake of the flood, laugh in the water, 49, D minor, C, G, C, G, G, A minor, B minor. So there's that little walk up there, right? So... And that's just a G, A minor, B minor. And then we're going to hit that C again to wrap back around for the second half of the verse. Let's hit it again. Wake of the flood, laugh in water, down to B flat, D minor, C, G, C, G, G, A minor, B minor, C, right? Easy peasy. Now the second half, slight. It's the same, but the ending is different. Okay, so it'll be um, get out the pants, don't just stand there dreaming. Get out the way. Get out the way. Yeah. And then that's literally just G A minor G. Right? That's your verse. It's very, it's just, it's that. That's, I don't know what else to say other than that. They're good verse progressions. I really enjoy, like, just the movement in all the dead songs. I, I come to appreciate it more and more as this has gone on. So, whatever that's worth to you. So, anyways, we're going to move on to the chorus. Okay? Yeah. Again, this song's pretty simple. So, shouldn't. Shouldn't be worried to talk. All right, chorus, boom. That's all this, I mean, that's it. That's it, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> So how we're going to start that, we're going to start on an A minor. So after we've done that, an A minor, then we're going to go to B flat. Cool. Got that part. So to C, sun, to G, shine, B flat, to D minor. To F, sun, to G, shine. Then that's, that's, so this stuttery, this stuttery kind of rhythm at the end here, it's a G to an F to a C major seven to a B flat major seven. Okay? So it's a. That's what it's going to look like, okay? So you've got that C-shaped G, or you can be this, or you can do whatever G you feel comfortable with. That's why we have the chord inversions up. That's also why you can buy the course, so you can learn all the chord inversions, right? Okay, so you can also do the G here. Whatever you're most comfortable with, okay? It's, it, this is about you playing. It's not about how you, you're supposed to play it. It's how you want to play it, you know what I'm saying? So you can do that, the... And then the C major 7 to the B flat major 7. And when you're doing these major 7 chords, all you're doing is so think of like a C major right here, but then you're just kind of like making a C7, and then you're putting your middle finger on the G string on the 4th fret. Right? 
And then you're going to take that same shape down a whole step. Easy? Easy peasy. So. That's it. So A minor, B flat, C, G, B flat, B flat, D minor. Seven, B flat major seven and then it goes right back into the intro thing again okay all right one more time for you bitch ass Sorry, that last F is hard to hit. Sunshine. It's strange. Okay, but now all that's left to do is listen to a little bit of me leading over it. And like the lead, the lead part is over the 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 ending of the the album version is that. So that whole progression is what the solo is at the end. And I've put a pretty long bit of it at the end of this for you to jam over and get comfortable with G major. All you got to do is solo in G major for that. Just like that, you got it, right? Okay, well, I love you. Listen and we will.
Okay, see, again, not the best in the world, but not the worst. We're not here to be the best. We're here to be expressive. We're here to be ourselves. We're here to be the best us we can be, not the best overall, because that's just, that's, it's erroneous. It's made up. All of that stuff is made up. Never compare yourself. Comparison is the thief of joy. Remember that. And also remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, all the stuff you're supposed to do. You understand me? Go buy the Golden Road Guitar Course on sale for $100, May through July 2023. Okay? Also, merch, realbird.company.site, Patreon. Oh, my God. All of our stuff is $5 now. You get five videos a month for $5 now. We're basically giving it to you. You know what I'm saying? So go check out the Patreon, all the stuff. Go watch all the other videos. Get out there and play with yourself. Play with your friends. The sunshine is coming, and so am I. You know what I'm saying? I love you all. Remember the golden rule. Don't be a dick. That's all you got to do is not be a dick. I love you so much. We can't make this stuff happen without you. Also, you can just donate right to my pocket. Do that. Give me money. I need money. I'm dying here. Going through a really hard time. Help us out. I love you. No one ever watches to the end of these anyway, so it doesn't matter. I love you so much. I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Mwah. 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 Mwah.